how can I make a picture black and white with a hint of color? What you want to do when you're in Photopea.com, you want to connect it to Google Drive. Now that we've connected it to our Google Drive, you're going to locate your picture. I've located mine. Click the picture and open it up. Once it's open, you are going to come over to the side where you see your layers. Once you're at your layers, you're going to right click and you're going to duplicate the layer. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. We're going to right click and duplicate the layer. What you are then going to do is you're going to click on your background and that's going to be your original picture. Just know that that's going to be your original. Go ahead and re double click background and type in original. That way, if you mess up for whatever reason, you always have that same picture you've all had before. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to click the top layer, that's the layer that we see right now, and we're going to turn it to be black and white. What we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to go to image, adjust, and we're going to turn it black and white. And here you can go ahead and mess with all of your tones. You might want to make your yellows lighter. You might want to make them darker. You may want to turn your cyans to be a brighter color or lighter. Um, this is really going to adjust uh, the levels of gray that you have on your picture. So you can take your time and you can really mess around with these. It's all up to you. And when you're happy, press OK. So now we're happy. We can see over here that our layer is black and white. Now we're going to locate on the toolbar to the left of the screen, we're going to locate our eraser. It looks like a generally a pink eraser. You can click and hold it and there are several other options. So what we'll do, we'll use the regular eraser tool. Now here's where it gets funny. You're only going to work on your black and white layer. You are not going to touch anything with the layer that is in color. And you're definitely not going to touch anything that's original. The spot that you want to be black and white with a hint of color, you're going to go ahead and click, and you're just going to take your time and erase it. Now let's say you can't see this very well. If you take your fingers and you press on your keyboard, control and plus, you can zoom in. And you can zoom in as tight as you need it to be so that you can really take the time to pull out all that beautiful color. One more tool that you have the ability to use if the eraser is not getting everything that you want, you have your, um, your magic select and your rectangular select, you, and you have your magic wand to select. You can mess around with these to get your selections. So what you do is you just click those, one of those tools, select it, you get something that's called Dancing Amps, your selection tool. Press delete once it's selected on your keyboard, and now you have, you're able to go ahead and erase large sections of color. Now let's say you accidentally erase too much. I don't want that green grass to show. If you've done it once, you just go ahead and press Control Z to undo. Okay? And you can go ahead and continue selecting. You can use your magic select to pick up big areas of the same set of pixel shades and then just select those areas and just press delete on your keyboard. All right. Let's say that you continue doing that and you mess up pretty bad and you don't like it. You mess up several times. You may have seen over to the right of the screen where it has my history and in my history, I can just go ahead and step backwards as far as I need to. You have up to 15 to sometimes 17 clicks to step back, to undo things. But once you go past that 17 clicks, you're stuck, and that is your end result. You'll have to start over with the original. So I'm going to go ahead and take time, and I'm going to get it done. I'm going to show you my end result in just a minute. So I got it kind of finished. There's a little bit more work I need to do. It was a really fast minute and I got what I did done here, but it gives you the general idea of what to expect with black and white and with a hint of color. Give it a try. See if you like it. Um, you might enjoy it. Have fun. Before I let you guys go, I want to make sure that you know how to save it. So when you're done, you can't close the screen because it'll just disappear 
you want to go to file and you want to go save more and you can go use your PSD which is the workable file format and it will save to your Chromebook or your desktop computer or you can go to save Google Drive that's what you really want to do so save to your Google Drive you'll see the save button is loading and then once that's done you're finished all right I think that's it have a great day